here's a trick with the four aces. Um, now, we're not going to take turn them over like this. I'm not going to count through them like this, but you'll see what I mean. So we have the four aces right here. All I have to do is give it a shake, just a shake, and one of the aces turns face down. That's pretty crazy. Watch, we'll do it again. I give it a shake, just like so. The second ace turns face down also. One more shake, just like so. And that is three aces turn face down. The last one you're going to see very visually. You're going to very, be able to see it until the very last moment. Watch the ace. I push it in, just like so, a shake. And just like so, it too turns face down. Now the crazy part is not how they turn face down. It's what happens when you turn one ace face up. So watch, I take this ace, just like so, all the aces turn face up. And that is a trick with the four aces. What's good peeps, it's your boy Eduard Toda. Today we're gonna be reacting to a guy I've never heard of before. And uh, his audition apparently just happened on America's Got Talent, or it just got uploaded by the actual America's Got Talent YouTube channel. So I'm very curious to see what it is. Um, I, I haven't heard much about it. I, you know, it's, it's really new, so I don't know anything. I'm, I'm going in blind. So uh, it's Tom London. Uh, apparently he's a technology magician or something like that. So let's see what he does. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Very well, thank you. Do you want to tell us what your name is, please? Uh, yeah, Tom London. And Tom, how old are you? I'm 25. And what are you going to be doing today? I'm a magician. And what's been or who's been your, your main inspiration, Tom? It's been my dad. My whole life, I've just grown up wanting to be like him. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm about to try and do. I presume if you did well on the show, then Vegas would be the... It's always been my dream to create the best magic show Vegas has ever seen, that the people would travel from around the world to go and see. Good luck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to try and do something that's never been done before. Can all of you take out your mobile phones? And I want you to just hold them up in the air. Can you all do that for me? Okay. Judges, I'd like to stand up and have a look at the, the audience. Oh my God. What? That's crazy. How are you doing that? In today's world, we're all connected through our cell phones. But what I want to show you is that we're actually all connected on a far deeper level. Simon, you'll notice that a few of the devices are still red. Yeah. I want you just to choose three of them to come and join me on stage. Pick the one that's all the way in the end. You, please. In the red. Yeah. And you. Come on. Wait, what? Tara, can you bring your phone as well? Can you just unlock the phone and open the calculator? Okay, that's okay. great. Okay, here's what I want to do. So, I want you to try and guess for me. How many number one selling artists do you think Simon Cowell has had on its record label? 53. 53. Tara, could you just type in 53? 53. Yeah. All right, I'm just typing in now. Go for 53. it. And then secondly, how many millions of records do you think Mel, when she performed the Spice Girls, sold worldwide? Just go for it, millions. 102. 102. Tara, can you hit multiply? Times. Yeah, and then 102. 102, okay. Okay, and next up, I want you to try and guess what year Heidi began modeling. Oh, it's a hard one. Not, sorry, I'm so bad at math. <laughs> 1970. Nope, 1980. Not when I was born. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> 1987? 87, okay. Tara, can you hit multiplied? Okay. And then just 87? 87. Wonderful, okay. And then here's what we're going to do um, hit the plus sign. Plus. Fantastic. Now, a little buddy told me, Harry, that you've had a lot of girlfriends. Um, but instead of just guessing, Tyra, what I want you to do is I want you to have your thumbs over numbers. Thumbs over yeah. numbers. Now I want you to make a random guess. I want you to close your eyes and just hit maybe like seven or eight numbers. Go One, for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. Hit equals. Equals. Okay, sweet. Now I just want you to read that number out for me. Is that okay? Okay, ready? Go for it. 73 million. Okay, 73 million. 928,000. 928,000. 547. 547. Wonderful, guys. Give a round of applause for these three volunteers. Thank you. And for Tara Banks, please take a seat. Thank you. It's not over yet, is Take it? a seat, guys. Thank you very much.
Okay, guys, so we've got this random number here, but there's something bigger going on. There's something impossible. There's something magical. I want you guys to see this. I'm here on Hollywood Boulevard. It's a few hours until my audition. This number, 73,928,547. Does this mean anything to you? But wait, but wait. Do you remember at the start, I said that we're all connected on a far, far deeper level? Yeah. Well, Simon, I think you'll find that you've actually had 47 number one selling artists. And Mel, you sold 85 million records with the Spice yes. Girls. Heidi, you started your career in 1992 when you won That's Models right. 92. And Howie, you and I both know that you've not had 73 girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because you married your high school sweetheart and you've been married to her for 37 years. Wow, okay. Wow. Holy that's shit. Amazing. Wow. Finally, a non-card trick that I actually know how it's done. Uh, now the thing is, I have absolutely no clue, zero idea how he did the phone thing, okay? and. The thing is, it's probably more technology than it is magic, but um, I'm blown away by that. Like, that's the cra that's to me, that's crazier than the actual effect. Like, how the hell do you... There was some cuts in there, so I don't know what he said to them beforehand. Like, do you go and open a website? Do you go and... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what it was. But, the, the effect, uh, that's actually one that I, I've, you know, I perform every now and then. Um, <laughs> Now, the, the, what I loved about it, okay, because what happened there was he, he had the pre-recorded video and I thought it was a really shit reveal. Like, I, that was my first impression. As soon as I saw the, the, the video, I was like, oh, come on, you could have played this way better. But then he, he linked every number to, you know, uh, whatever the questions were, uh, which, was, which was perfect. The perfect way to take, you know, again, a simple magic trick which is just like a number and a, uh, a predicted number reveal, which, you know, every magician's done that. But then to take that and and kind of make it personal to the audience, to the judges, I absolutely love that. I absolutely love the performance. I love this guy's style. I love the guy's, I even like his like fashion sense, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, everything about that was, was top notch. I, I honestly, I never thought about breaking down the reveal of the number and then relating it to information about the spectators. I've never thought about that. That's actually a very smart idea. I love it. Um, so Tom London, I think I'll have to keep an eye out for this guy because uh, if you know, it, it, he seems like a really high level dude, a really high level performer. Uh, he he <laughs> kind of fooled me a little bit with that first reveal because I thought it was a weak reveal, uh, but then he, he he took it one step further. So it was a two punch, two punch type thing. Very nice, very nice. This is actually a trick that I've been meaning to put in my Street Magic video when I when I get around to it. The hard part about the Street Magic video is I actually need to get a guy to uh, film me around, you know, walking around a city asking people if they want to see magic. And uh, yeah, it's it's quite time consuming, but keep an eye out for that one. I'll definitely be performing this trick. Very, very, very nice performance of a very awesome trick, mentalism but done with an audience and uh, he then related it back to the to the uh, judges which was extra nice. No wonder he got a standing ovation. Um, I, I think it was great, absolutely great. But yeah guys, that'll be about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, uh, subscribe to my channel, I do videos daily. Um, leave a comment below to uh, tell me what else to react to and I'll try to get around to it. Yeah, follow me on all the social media platforms, hit me up in the DM, I respond to all DMs, so we'll, we'll have a nice chat there. Mad respect, much love, stay lit, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!